In this video, we're going to use the normal distribution and stat crunch to compute some probabilities. Let's do number one, part B first. So let x be the random variable that denotes the weight of a rabbit in a particular desert. Assume that x is normally distributed with a mean of 21.6 pounds and a standard deviation of 3.2 pounds. If one rabbit is randomly selected, what is the probability that it weighs less than 21.3 pounds? So all we do is go over here to StatCrunch and we end, click on Stat. And then you go to Calculators and then you scroll down to where it says Normal. Then you left click on this. And in here we enter the mean. So the mean was given to be 21.6. So 21.6. And the standard deviation was 3.2, so 3.2. And it says here we want the rabbit to weigh less than 21.3 pounds. So less than is already picked. And it's less than or equal to, but it doesn't matter with the normal distribution. Less than and less than or equal to give you these same answers. And so we enter 21.3 in this box here. And we click Compute. And boom, there it is. There's the answer to Part B. Part A. Part A is very similar. It says if 11 rabbits are randomly selected. So 11 is the n. So n is equal to 11. Then it says what is the probability that their mean weight x bar is greater than 22.1 pounds. So it's asking about a probability regarding a mean. So in stack crunch we have to enter in this box here we have to enter the standard deviation of x bar. So we actually have to compute that by hand. So the formula for that, I'll type it over here if you can see it, it's the square, it's sigma, so that's the standard deviation, divided by the square root of n. So it's sigma divided by the square root of the sample size. So in this case, it's going to be 3.2 divided by the square root of 11. So we actually have to compute this number here 3.2 divided by the square root of 11 and put it in the box that says standard deviation. Now I don't have a calculator here so I'll have to use stack crunch as a calculator. To do that you go to data, compute, and expression. So again it's data, compute, and expression. And this funny window opens up. Then you just type it in here. 3.2 divided by the square root of 11 and then you just click compute and there it is there is the new standard deviation so 0.965 so 0.965 and we want the rabbits to weigh more than 22.1 pounds so we change this to greater than and we change this number here to 22.1 and you click compute and there is the answer, 0 0.302. So to recap, in part B, it was just one rabbit. It was just talking about x. So all we did was pick less than, and we used the standard deviation that's given, just the 3.2, right? just this one here. In part A, however, we had more than one rabbit. We had 11 rabbits. Not only that, it's asking for a probability regarding a mean. So whenever that happens, you have to use this formula here, sigma divided by the square root of n. So in our case, sigma is 3.2. So 3.2 divided by the square root of 11. And if you don't have a calculator, you can do it in StatCrunch. You can go to data, compute, expression, and then type it in. 3.2 divided by squirt, <laughs> 11. And then you click compute. And boom, there it is. It shows up again, so 0.965. So that's your new standard deviation. So if we look at part C, I won't do it just to keep this video length uh, short. It's the same thing, except in this case, n is 12. And uh, that's it. I hope this video made sense.